Hey, cool, cool, cool. King Blitz, what's Yo. happening, bro? Man, I'm good, man. I'm hype. I'm happy to see you, man. Happy to be here. Man, we are beyond excited to have you here on the show, in the studio, no doubt, with the with the, uh, with the the YouTube plaque shining in the background. I see you, bro. Hey, you know what I mean? I had to give you something to go off of just in case, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I love it, man. I love it. Well, thank you so much for being here. Uh, King Blitz is with us, y'all. Uh, reactor, also an artist and rapper in your own right. More than 220,000 Yo, subs on YouTube. More than 30 million, almost 30 million views on your channel. Yo, appreciate uh, it. Absolutely killing Shout it, Shout out to you for contributing to that. Oh, man. <laughs> hey. Nah, man. Shout Yo, out to the community. Dude. Shout out to the community because uh, they, 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 they come through heavy, man, for all the Harry Mack reactors. And I, I appreciate you spreading the word, man. Oh, man. I appreciate you for what you do, man. But yeah, man, it, it's been a it's it's been a long time coming. I I was telling uh, Khan earlier. Yeah. I was like, I wanted you to be able to see the DM that I sent you on. I'm not asking you to follow me on Instagram or none of that. Yeah. I sent you a DM back in 2017. <laughs> no way. <laughs> yeah, I sent you a DM. Like I think I said like you're a monster or something like that. I can't. I don't have my phone near me or something like that. Damn. Did but I yeah, reply? Man. Yeah. I'm, nah. Oh. I, just, and I told Khan. I was like, I want to see oh. a scene on it at least. Damn, bro, that's <laughs> fucked up. All right, well, hey, oh. I, 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 <laughs> hey, look, I'm happy you didn't reply because you probably would have probably been a SoundCloud rapper at that time. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, I saw it. I said, you know what? I'll do you one better, man. Meet me in four years. We're gonna have you on the stream, bro. By that yeah, time, <laughs> you know what I mean. You know what I mean. That's all it was. That's all it was. <laughs> uh, Yo, real quick. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. No, go ahead. Go ahead. No, I was gonna ask you. Uh, I know that you was inspired by like MC Natural. Yeah, uh, the Lost Files and stuff like that. Black Alicious, Get the Gab. Shout out to Brady's mom. Yeah. <laughs> oh, bro, you did your research. Like, Hell yeah. Yeah, of course. I, I know that that was uh, like the first show that you went to. Yeah. Um, but I, and I always hear you say that those are the ones who inspired you with the freestyles. And right. I know that they you created a a, a process to develop your skill set. But well, like, what is a routine that you would stick to in order to develop your freestyle ability, whether it was, like, technique or developing confidence or whatever? Yeah, great question, man. I mean, uh, you know, shout out to shout out to Brady, man, because it was him and I just the, – the biggest thing has been consistent practice. And me and Brady yeah. started just practicing our freestyling back when we were 11, 12 years old, you know. Um, right, 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 and we, right. had, we had no technique, you know, no skills and no confidence, but – we were just having the fucking time of our lives having fun freestyling. And so, yeah. you know, that that's where it all started. And and it wasn't it, it took a while before I really started to try to like codify it and work on certain things to get better. Um that came like yeah. a little later, like when I discovered like Supernat, who you mentioned, and 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 yeah. Juice and Idea and Freestyle Fellowship and some of these other um, you know, improvisers who have inspired me. Uh I started noticing certain things that they would do and I would create different routines and things to practice. So in terms of the technique. For a long time, it was working on this setup punchline concept of whatever I'm going to rap about goes second, and I say something that rhymes with it first, right? And first, that, it makes it easier. Exactly. Yeah. And I'm sure, you know, you as a, as a MC, like when you saw my videos, I'm sure that, you know, stood out. Like that's something that we notice is that sort of that way of formulating the couplet, right? And so yeah. for a long time, I was just obsessed with trying to figure out how to do that in a way that, that seemed smooth, you know, where it was like you almost couldn't tell where, where I was like, stopping to think you know it, it was it was all about yeah, yeah. kind of like trying to smooth the edges so you almost might like create this illusion where it's like oh damn it almost sounds like it's all written or it's all pre-planned yeah no there's, there's definitely like a, a a dope way to you know um you know lean into it and you yeah. know get the people like ah for me you know I, i've got to ask you this too yeah can you start putting well you don't have to but i would love it if you could start putting some more of the outro music at the end because for whatever reason at the end of your reactions <laughs> i'd be like man I'm ready to freestyle. Then you come in. Patreon. So just, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious, bro. I'm yeah. like, yo, I, I'm going to let you get it off, man. Can I get a little bit of beat? <laughs> a couple that, words. That's a good idea. <laughs> we need like an inspo, inspo beat at the end. Like if this video inspires yeah. you to freestyle, you got 16 <laughs> bars. Go. Go. <laughs> no. That's Most hilarious. Definitely. That's hilarious. Most yeah. definitely, man. I'm, I'm, so, I'm yeah, cutting man, you off um, with the Patreon plug. <laughs> Last question I would ask yeah. is, you know, you know, I'm a smoker myself, man. Yeah. I like to, you know, put blood down. Yes. I know that you said that um, I'm a drink on occasion. Yeah. And I know that you said that uh, uh, in your reactions, you said that you, I mean, um, uh, Amigo series, you, yeah. you mentioned that you don't smoke a drink anymore. Was that a 
creative thing or a business thing or both? Or, you know, how did it help or... Yeah, it was both, but moreover, it was just like a lifestyle thing. You know, I'm, I'm, I started like experimenting with like drinking and smoking and stuff like that when I was, I guess, in high school, like, you know, freshman, sophomore year of high school or something like that. And, uh, you know, I, I, I have like an addictive personality, so I get really into shit, you know, <laughs> like whatever it is, yeah. it can be something positive mm-hmm. and where I benefit well, that from makes getting sense. really into it. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm, I've basically been addicted to freestyle since I was 12. So, you know, there you go. Yeah. That's worked out well. But other things, you know, it, it, it would become sort of at a certain point, it wasn't gelling with where I was trying to go with my life, you know, and I wasn't ever like your stereotypical image of like, I guess what like an addict looks like in the sense that like I wasn't like waking up in the morning face down in the gutter or anything crazy yeah, like yeah, that, yeah. you most know, up, or, 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 or needing to have interventions with friends or anything like that it was more just like it got to a point where i was like you know what like smoking for whatever reason the way it affected me changed it started making me more paranoid i started to second guess myself doubt myself feel like i i I didn't want to put myself out there like that and in our field in in, you know in our field doing what i do yeah uh, it's different for everybody but for me i was like man it's scary enough just trying to do this period and now i'm i'm adding in this other thing that's kind of muddying oh, the that waters, makes sense. you know? So that, uh, makes sense. that, and I can't be creative when I'm hungover at all. Uh, so you know what? <laughs> I was good. Somebody in the kingdom asked me to ask you, is it better for you to freestyle uh, sober? Or, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Somebody, oh, asked me if it's better to freestyle. I mean, for years, I, I, I was high pretty much every time I freestyled. So, you know, who am I to, who am I to say, you know? I learned a lot during that time. Um, and it kind of was like scary at first to be like, oh shit, I'm going to do this without hitting the joint like oh shit what's that gonna feel yeah. like but now it's all the same yeah. like now i can't I, I can't even tell you know it's like it, it, this is just my sort of world now so uh it's yeah. all good and i think it probably helps with my memory and stuff you know it's it's a trade-off like if you smoke a little bit you might get a little more in the moment more like sort of in the vibe of, of what you're doing yeah. and that can help but then like technically speaking i'm probably sharper at the end of the day no with, i can agree because you know. like for me it's not a you know it's not an element that i need to create Right. Or to finish a create a creation or to start or whatever. Right. It's one of them things to kind of lighten up the mood, kind of bring up the vibes, you know. But yeah. it's not something that I, you know, oh, I got to smoke or I got to. I, I always said that I would never get to that point too early on. Right. I don't want to get to a point where I'm like, oh, I need to smoke before I get this verse off. Because right. I kind of get fickle about people like that. No offense, but just be like, come on, bro, get it in. Let's right. go. <laughs> right. Right. You, I mean, you, you just don't want to have to have a crutch, right? Like, it's like you want to yeah. be able to do what you do and channel it in any environment under any circumstance and know that you can sort of trust your skill set so i I fuck with that dude 100 percent. most definitely man most def it's cool to be in a, in a look all i ask is you don't leave me on red that's it <laughs> <laughs> yeah you never ain't gotta again. reply never again I'm gonna, see scene. I'm gonna follow you no, right you now don't don't do that no don't i'm gonna follow that. you don't right now i'm doing it I'm, don't do that bro. i'm, don't I'm do gonna that. follow i'm gonna follow bro 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 okay yeah i'm about to the yeah. lie about to go crazy tonight on the kingdom. I'm finna freak out. King Blitz. Bro, <laughs> yes. you, Tech Nine follows you. Yeah, shout out to Tech Nine. I'm about to actually go meet him on the um 24th. He's coming out of Atlanta. Oh, so dope. I can't wait for the opportunity. Damn, you guys are yeah. gonna, gonna work on something or just hang or what? Well, yeah, he mentioned that we would work. Uh he didn't mention that we would work in this particular on this particular um occasion, but sure. I want to make sure I'm prepared. I'm gonna make sure I got a got a couple in the chamber just in oh, case he hit me with a, hey man, we ain't doing nothing. What you doing? Yeah. <laughs> Hell yes, bro. <laughs> gotta stay prepared. Gotta stay prepared. Well, you don't need me to read your DMs, bro. You already famous. Tech Nine follows you, but now I officially follow you as well. So uh, this is crazy. So we here, man. Uh, bro, wow. it's, it's a blessing to have you on the show. You had an album drop uh, May this year. Is that right? Things never go yep. as planned. Never go as planned. Yes, sir. Hell Can't yeah. believe you saying that, Mac. Let me let me stop man fanning real quick. Let me cool <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, bro. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of. I'm a fan of you, man. Although, admittedly, I am. I am new to uh, to your work, man. I I uh, no, I, I just cool. recently started checking you out. But um, but you're amazing, man. I I I wanted to check out something from the album. I listened to the song "Normalized," um, and that is a fucking heavy song, bro. That is an amazing. Yeah, man, that, I appreciate that, it. That's an incredible song, dude. I, I mean, obviously, extremely powerful message. You know, you're talking about police brutality and 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 racial profiling. Yeah, and you know, I knew it was a a record that has been talked about. You know, it's been it's a re- I ain't gonna say it's a repetitive message because that kind of like. Sounds desensitive. I mean, uh, right, uh, right. insensitive. Uh, but 
you know, it's something that it's a it's a line that it's a song like that for a lot of artists right now. For me, yeah. I wanted to do that, but I just wanted it to put you in a moment rather than just tell you the story. Yeah. You know what I mean? I wanted you to actually be there as opposed to just rapping to the cops or rapping about the government or sure. any of that. You know, I, I wanted to just put you in a moment and you feel it for yourself. So, Bro, that yeah. that's what blew me away, man, was the storytelling technique was so on point dude like the 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 different um tonalities and voice switches for the different characters and like the you know yeah. hearing the emotion in 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 the different characters voices when they were speaking um that shit is just so impressive and so dope to me i've always been a fan of like narrative storytelling in hip hop and like using rap verses like like a screenwriter you know to like put you yeah. in a, to put you in a scene and uh you know that 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 song was just super powerful man and i think it's it's man. just dope to be made when i music. produced it i I just knew when I when I was making a beat, I was just like, and then I didn't I didn't really when I write music, I never have an idea. I just start writing. Like, okay. So that was that was nothing that I had pre planned. I didn't say I want to structure it this way. I'm gonna have this this way. I was kind of like I got the beat, the words start flowing, and I actually wrote the very ending of it first. Okay. And then I figured, and I was like, the ending didn't fit with what I was trying to do, so I rewrote it, and then the ending made sense. I was like, oh, wow, I can provide another perspective by putting this right, you know, so. Wow. Just, the, uni the universe just kind of made it happen, man. Yeah. That's <laughs> dope, man, that it came organically like that. Do you do you make all your own beats? I make about 50% of them, yeah. Dope, man. Hell like yeah. Like you, man. I'm out here like you out here. Hey. Boom, boom, boom. Dude, I'm off, my, <laughs> I'm off my producer grind, bro. I haven't been making as many beats, man. I, had a... I haven't seen them in the Omegles lately either. I know, dude. I know. I've been so focused on the MC grind, man. I haven't. But, but you know what? It's funny, dude. I actually, like, got this app for the iPad uh, mm -hmm. called Koala Sampler. <laughs> and, oh, and like, it down. dude, it's fire. I'll make beats like in bed and shit. It's it's basically like, it's like a little hardware koala sampler. sampler. Yeah, koala. You can make <laughs> you be you in can, the bed making beats. Yeah, like you can cook shit up on your phone. Like I don't know. For me, it, it, it's dope. I'm getting inspired again because it's so simple. And like sometimes yeah. it's just like getting out of getting away from the computer and getting creative. For me, it, it does something, you know. Because if I'm just sitting at my PC, it feels very similar to all the other work tasks that I do throughout the day. But if I could just, no, I you know, totally understand. Yeah. See, for me, because I wear so many different hats, being a rapper, a reactor, and all of these things take a producer, all of these things take place in this in this place right here. What I tend to do is, I kind of walk away and prepare my mind frame for whatever task I'm getting ready to do. Right. So it's like if I'm in here and I'm being a reactor, I can immediately go to music. I know this sounds cheesy, but for me, I'm like, ah, oh, I need to cut off the reactor. Yeah. emotions or whatever i need to walk out you know yeah kiss my kids a little bit play the game watch the anime come back to it and i'm while doing so telling my mind like you finna get in here and you know about to create but hell yeah with production i'm a very lazy producer that's why i don't like producing for other people yeah yeah <laughs> i just like i like to get it done off st strictly emotion but one of the things that just helped me is that that time where i do get right for like playing the game or whatever and i don't feel like producing i just tell myself hey bro just Find a loop or something. You ain't even got to start it off. And I hit that one loop, and I'm like, oh, right. instantly, I'm going to do this. Oh, I want to do that. And then it becomes this thing, you know? So right. I kind of trick myself into it sometimes. Yeah, just <laughs> dive in almost like you're not even trying, right? And then before you yeah, know yeah, it, yeah. You're, you're in the mix. I love that, man. Yeah, most deaf. Most deaf. I love that. All right, well, King Blitz is here. Uh, dude, it's an honor to have you on the stream. We're about to make a moment right now, bro. It's time. It's time. It's time. <laughs> okay, I already know what to do. I already know what to do. Mike, Mike. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, all right. Here we go. Here what we you go. got for me, man? Jamming ninety five point five. Hey, let's go. Blazing arrow. Oh shit! And the kingdom. <laughs> the kingdom. The kingdom, bro. That's your space. That's your space. The kingdom. Yes. Dude, yes. I love it. We going with the autobiographical jamming 95.5, blazing arrow, and we're going to take it all the way from Los Angeles, California to the kingdom. Where are you based out of, by the way, man? I'm in an ATL. Oh, Hold of on, course. Turn my headphones. Oh. Of course, bro. Uh, he's at the epicenter. He's at the epicenter of, of, of modern hip hop. We here, y'all. Let's have some fun, man. King Blitz, Harry Mack. Uh, let's get it. Let's get it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, 
yeah, from LA to the motherfucking kingdom, come on, yeah, yeah, King Bliss, Harry Mag, we about to get this thing done, come on, check it out, check it out, uh, check it out, yo, yo, they wanna know how I study, why my rhymes are live, I first started on jamming 95.5, yeah, before I made the decision to rap, my big sister said the cool kids listen to that, I was like, damn, well, I wanna be cool, tired of getting made fun of and played for the fool, so I gave it a chance, but before I knew, yo, through my whole body, I could feel that groove, yeah, boom, bap, boom, ba boom, bap I turned it up loud and let the radio smack uh, Hearing the voices, couldn't understand the lyrics But it's something about the sonic quality that grabbed my spirit uh, And I knew that it was pulling me in Yeah, I could feel it in my soul once again Made me feel like a toddler listening to blues yeah, So I recognized I had to make that move I asked my mom for a notebook and a pen Cause listening to the radio had me in state of zen I started writing, started scribing way before before I ever hit Brady's attic and began with improvising Filling up my journal, filling all them pages Letting all creative ideas up out them cages Now it's outrageous when I start to think back This was back when I was MC Wonder, not King Mac But yo, I had to make it happen, putting it together My bond to the music, it was tougher than leather Felt like them rappers was kings, yeah they was pharaohs And then one day, we copped that album Blazing Arrow Came from my friend Brady's mom's recommendation She said they wrote about it, said it is a dope creation we went to Music Millennium shop down the street We copped it for the rhymes, we copped it for the beats Brought it back home, put it in Brady's CD player Yeah, we listened to the dope rhyme sayer Known as Gift the Gab, rest in peace to the legend Yeah, felt connected to him like brethren Couldn't believe it, the way he was tearing the track to pieces And in our Bible of rap, he was Jesus Yeah, we came addicted to the sound Blazing Arrow record, man, we couldn't put it down Chief Excel on the beats, <laughs> Gift the Gab with the bomb verse, Black Alicious was our first concert. We was there front row indeed. Sixth grade Harry, first time that I smelled weed. I was like, wait, I ain't understanding this. Looked at Brady and said, dog, that must be cannabis. No cannabis. doubt, we finally up in the room. Hit, finally smelled that sweet taste of boom. Uh, way before I ever smoked the chronic, I watched Gift the Gab spit faster than Sonic. Couldn't believe it. He was on stage getting the thing done. Now I'm connected with Blitz up in the kingdom. Yeah, you ain't ready for this your type of rapping. King Blitz dropping classics just like Michael Jackson. See it on the background. Y'all know I'm rap rhyming. The Max blinding. I'm something like your YouTube plaque shining I'm all up on it, y'all know that we out here getting love Shout the homie Blitz with more than 100k subs More than 200k of being exact It's Sage Mac up in the session Getting free with the rap I make you understand Keep the microphone up in my hand I do it off top Cause things never go as planned H Mac, I blow your mind with these sort of vibes Ill storytelling, that should be normalized It's Sage Mac, I'm coming through with the realness I put it in your speaker system Let the people feel this Everybody know my rap Raps above average, like it says on your shirt off cam, Max is savage. What? <laughs> <laughs> yes, that was everything. <laughs> oh, thank you, uh, man. Oh, that was everything, man. Oh, my gosh. That was everything, man. <laughs> thank you, bro. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Bro, bro, this sh I was almost reacting to you. I was trying to press pause a couple times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. Uh, wait, wait, wait. He just said. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing, no, man. It's man. been a pleasure, man. It's been an honor. I'm, I'm, oh, let me cut the fan on. I'm hot. <laughs> <laughs> me too. I got to get this AC going over here, man. Uh, no, nah, Brother, the, thank you. Nah, man, thank you. The honor is all ours, bro. Thank you so much for, for everything you're doing. Thank you for bringing your energy here onto the show. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, King Blitz, make sure y'all go support. Anything you want to plug, man, uh, tell the people where they can find you. Man, find me on Harry Max channel. <laughs> oh, well, the, the Clips channel. The Clips, wherever <laughs> I'm at. I'm, I'm with next to Harry Mac on it, all right? That's it. <laughs> I got enough promotion. <laughs> I love it, bro. I love it. Thank you so much, man. Uh, let's stay connected. I follow you on the gram now, so, uh, you know, it's all love. <laughs> I promise I ain't going to DM you nothing crazy. I'm going to wait a couple months. I'm going to try to be a cool rapper. There okay? you go. I'm definitely going to read it this time. I promise you that. Uh, thank you so I much, bro. It. Enjoy your day, all right? All right, man. You too, dog. Peace.